everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Automation Expert. I'm your host, Leandro Mala, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we can add the TN3 models in our configuration. So let's go to the presentation. So far, what we have done is to add the logical device and how to link it to the, uh, to the hardware device that we want. Okay, so the physical with the logical device. Now, what we need to do is to configure on the hardware device the TM3 models that we want to use for our application. So, for that, what we need to do is to access into the physical devices, okay? And in there, we should be able to select the open hardware configuration, okay? So, if we go now to the application, uh, to the application is in the other side in there so let's go back over here we have physical devices okay so our physical device and then logical devices over here we can open the hardware open the hardware okay that will open this part over here so open hardware as you can see it has this empty space now here we just need to add when we add, we have this bus, which is the TN3 bus that we have. Okay, we just added the TN3 bus, and we have all this configuration. Now, if you pay attention over here, in this part, okay, it says a new master hardware cut. This is this one over here. As soon as I click over here, it appears another one which is add new hardware cut. As soon as I click over this, I have the window on my side, should be able to see all the TN3 models available over here. So in our case, we just need to use the analog. We just need to use the digital input and then a digital output. This will depend on what you have, okay? So, in this way, what we have done is configure the TN3 bus. In the TN3 bus, we have added the new hardware cut. The master is this one, okay? So in here I have the analog input and the digital input and the digital output. Then in order to configure this, we just right click on the module and we have properties. On the properties, we have module option, Module optional optional model yes here for the analog we have different things in our case will be uh, voltage so okay and that's it then we have the digital inputs properties where we have the filter over here we want to filter okay we have over here the latch and the filter optional yes in case you don't want in case you want optional properties, optional model, yes. So this is how you can add different TM trees. So remember that you need to access into the logical devices, right click, open hardware configuration, and it will open this one. Now, what happens if you have more than one PLC? Okay, good, no problem. So let's add another N251 debug. Let's add three. So now we need to link this to a logical device. We're going to create two other PLC here. We're going to depack another PLC. Depack. Okay. Now we just need to link it to a physical device. Now here, we should be able to right click, open hardware configurator, and you can see in the top, we have another PLC. And then here, we just need to configure the, um, the bus. So right click, add or new hardware is gonna be here, the TN3 bus, close. 
Now you can navigate over here. So if you go to devices, here you can select another my PLC or other PLC. You have this one, devices, my PLC, this one. Ah, I didn't show you. My real PLC that I have, devices, another PLC, and you have the access. So there are different kind of access to access to the right information that we want. So it's just take time until you get familiar. So the quickest access is for logical devices. Right click on the logical device that you have and open hardware configurator. Okay, or go to hardware configurator and then select on devices the devices list that we have. So let me just save this part. And I believe it's something that I need to mention about the hardware, the libraries. Let me just go back here to the presentation. And uh, we already sprint this part. This is what I want to show. Okay, so let me just. So inside the library that we have added before, okay, we have some CAT hardware. And as I mentioned before, the CAT can help us to have some information, the logical information, and then we also have a graphical part for that specific CAT. So if we use this part like this, it will help us to give us more information when we when to when we want to go to the uh to the hmi side okay but at the moment it's important to recognize the different elements so if we go to this this side we have the cut hardware cut as you can see we have the common which is the um well how our master now how it's called just forget um to, to, to the master hardware cut okay so this is here and then you have the analog input analog outputs analog inputs all the information is in here later we're gonna see that we can use this cut hardware in our hmi side okay so but at the moment let's just keep it in this way so i will show you this part how to add it okay the master hardware cut so then we can put the t entry models i will show you open this one not this okay we use the hardware cut pay attention it's different and then you should be able to name the model that you want on select uh, make sure that library is added Okay, master hardware cut in the configuration and add the T entry modules. So as soon as we add it, then I already show you this part. We just right click on the model and we should be able to configure them. Okay, so in your case, you will need to configure the analog input so we can specify it's going to be voltage for our color sensor. And that's it. So this is it how we can add the modules TM trees for our Modicon N241 D-Pack in our solution. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.